My name is Aaron Spiro. I'm the president here at Modular Farms. We manufacture, uh, sell, and operate containerized modular farming uh, solutions. Essentially what that means is it's almost like a shipping container that's built from the ground up using super heavily insulated steel panels so that they can operate pretty much in any environment anywhere on earth. We can grow about a quarter of an acre's worth of food all year round um, in any environment essentially. Our company was started in the first place so that we could service the north of Canada. We're terrified by the lack of fresh food availability there, the cost of fresh produce that was far from fresh as we saw on the grocery shelves. So we wanted to create a technology that could be placed in any environment, specifically in those extreme environments of either cold or hot, where they just don't have access to arable land or have very little access to arable land and supply chain for getting fresh food. So we really hope that our technology is gonna be at the frontier of enabling those communities to become farmers and really change the dynamic of how people eat and access fresh foods in those communities. One of the biggest things that separates us from other containerized farming companies is the fact that we don't use shipping containers. In practice, if we're gonna be putting these farms in locations like the north of Canada or remote regions where it's really hot, insulation is a really big thing, as well as farm ergonomics. You're spending a lot of time in these farms and the plants need to be situated in a way that benefits them perfectly. We're a farming company that really focuses on plant health sciences, advancements in R&D, and making sure our products can actually deliver what we say that they can do, rather other than just kind of fluff up numbers, sell them to people and have them be really disappointed. The indoor farming industry has been around for well over a decade, but one of the biggest issues with it has been the cost of electricity, specifically with the lighting. Um, so until the advent of LEDs and the efficiency has gotten to where it is today, pretty much the only crop that you could grow indoors profitably was cannabis, whereas now, the yields of uh, things like kale and mint are really high inside of our farms. The price performance of the LEDs is really good. So it allows us to really grow things that weren't possible five to 10 years ago and make it a profitable business model. And that technological evolution is only gonna help drive that cost down again in the next three to five years as things like automation and renewable energies become much more prolific. We're gonna see higher yields, less labor associated with human beings inside the farms, more automation, and much better price performance for the electricity that we consume. I'm Aaron Spiro, president of Modular Farms. Come check out our Trend Safari at Future Festival.